Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Adventure Crab NT. Today we're going to go down to a little local spot in my local area and throw a crab pot out and see if we can get a crab. Um, then I'm going to cook it all up for you and show you a different recipe on how to cook up a mud crab. Right yeah, let's get to it. Sweet! As you can see, this place is really, really nice and secure and secluded from everywhere. But I like to trek in just to see how I go. And have a look around. I don't know. Get back to you when I'm setting this pot. Yeah, right, pot's all ready. We've got a float tied to it. Up here we put our float with a name tag on it as I would assume everywhere in Australia would not too sure about the rules and regulations overseas and then we climb down into our little spot nice little actual junction here which is really good this looks good it looks like someone's been here before, but we'll actually see how we go. I'll just go put it down in this little junction here and there should be some crabs. I don't know. Todd should start coming up in the next 15, 20 minutes. And hopefully we get some crabs. So I forgot to put spray on and uh, the midges are really fierce. So what you actually do as you stand down for here for a bit, just rub some mud on yourself. It'll create a barrier between your skin and the midges, and you won't get bitten. Put it on my arms as well. Just stop them from biting me. And yeah, it's just a little tip if you don't have any spray and you forget it or something like that. Sweet. Right, hey, I'm gonna let those pots soak for a few hours, then come back and check them, change the baits out for the last half of the tide. Hopefully we'll get a crab on that first half of the tide, but I'm not too keen because we, what, what we want is the smell to push up into the top of the mangroves. So it's sort of that last half of the tide that is uh, gonna be the most successful one, I would say, and our best opportunity to get a crab. But hopefully we get one so I can cook you up a different recipe from the beer recipe from the last episode. Uh, I've got a few up my sleeve and yeah. But if you can give us a subscribe, that'll be much appreciated. And stand by for more episodes and more recipes and a hell of a lot more fun with Adventure Crab and Tea. Cheers. What do you reckon the wife would do if I walk through the house like this? <laughs> I think she'd actually kill me and never let me mud crab ever again and probably take all my camera gear as well. Yes! After trekking through the mangroves in this stinking hot heat, nothing better than coming home and jumping in the pool. After a shower. You. Come and check the pot guys and all I got was two little stingrays so I released them all nice and safely and rebaited them last night and I'm uh, just coming down to check there's about three meters of tide at the moment so the tide should be out enough to check the pots I don't know what's in it but that looks like a muddy and look at that Yes, nice big buck. 
Look at that, what a horse. That is awesome. As I said guys, persistence pays off. And he's a big boy. I'd say about 18. But we'll get a measure on him when we get back home. I'll give you a bit of a close up without dirtying the camera too much. There we go. Look at that one. I can catch crabs. There we go. Sweet. Get back to his. Bigger than I thought it would be. That's easy two kilos. That's awesome. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Look, where there's one. There's got to be more. So we're going to chuck him in the shade. We've actually put a frozen bait in this one, so that way it thaws out nice and slowly in the shade. And we'll see if we can get another one. It looks like we're successful. Yeah. Look at that big boy. Oh, he nearly got me. <laughs> Whoa, flexible. Oh. Ah. This one in the bag, decent size one. Sweet. Head back to his. Ron, how he's going? Today we're going to do hickory smoked mud crab. I'm going to show you all the steps and processes to creating this amazing dish. Right here, right, let's get clean our crab. As you can see, this one I have uh, humanely spiked his brain pretty much by just a quick pinch through. There. What we'll do. crack in all the nippers. Right everyone, what we have here is a brine. So the brine consists of some bay leaves, some onion, tiny bit of garlic, some uh, brown sugar and salt and also with water. We just mix all them together, let them sit there for a bit so they all combine. And then what we want to do we want to get our nice big mud crab that I've cracked the claws as you can see so that all the brine gets into the meat. We want to chuck them in the brine, all of them. As you can see I've got two crabs. And, uh, what we'll do this one, we forgot to do it. Let's give it a crack, just a small crack, tiny. Don't need that much at all. A few legs, and this one, another crack. Just a tiny little hole. Now we'll sit them in our brine. We'll leave them in our brine submerged for roughly about 12 hours. 
The reason we want to do 12 hours for brining crabs is the meat's just so delicate and white. You don't need to actually brine it as long for smoking. Right, yeah. Yeah, we're going to start our smoker, so we've got a smoking tray. This is a homemade smoker, so it's a bit different to what everyone else does, but it's worked for me in the past. I've got hickory smoke. I just bought that from Fishing and Outdoor World today. Thanks for the boys for giving it to me down there. We pour it in our smoke, in our bottom tray. Daddy! Pour a fair bit in there, and then we'll burn off. Then we get our secondary tray, and that goes on top. And as what you'll see, there's a space there. So it's never really touching it. Then we get our crab, which has been marinating for the last 12 hours. We'll throw it in on top. Just tuck them all in there. It's smoking, so it's gonna be a slow, slow process. in there. You can throw the onions in there if you want. Doesn't really matter. It should be good. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own little smoking oven. Get it over the top. Two pieces of tin foil for the top, just like the bottom. And then we wrap around and create like an oven, pretty much. Just like so. So as you'll see, it's pretty rough and you don't want any steam to sort of build up in this sort of thing. So what we do is to make the smoke come out of the thing, we just stabbed two small holes, maybe another one, a third one. And what will happen is all the smoke will come out of that once it starts to build up inside and that'll start the smoking process of the crab. Righto, we'll get right back to you. Uh, when it's all done, it should be good. Sweet. Okay guys, we've been smoking for about 25 to 30 minutes now. We're about to open her up. Check out that. She's nice and smoked. Oh, the smell. I wish I had smell cam. You see that nice smoke on the outside of the meat there? What we're going to do, pull our crab down. Throw him in the esky, the old trusty one. And there's another bit of smoke bit. Get all of it in there. Look at that. Hello. And to cool down, we'll throw some ice over the top. Throw a couple of extra ice blocks in there. Shut her up. And leave it to cool down. Sweet. We'll see you back when we're eating it. You. Right there, guys. We're gonna try our smoked mud crab right now. Some G's in here. Out. I'll do the honours since you've been at work all day. Oh, I'll grab this one. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I'll take that out. Look at that lollipop. Wow. Wait, we're missing something. Look at that. Perfectly cooked, coming out of the shell nice. Let's give it a try. Oh. Come on, right there. You. Definitely taste the smoking. That's amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember, please subscribe and give us a like and share around to all your friends and family. And uh, we'll hopefully get some more content out to you from Hunting NT and Adventure Crab NT. And thanks for watching. You. You.